only about a hundred years ago, most stuff was built using hand tools. But nowadays, most people use power tools, even just to hang a picture on the wall. In this video, I'm going to compare hand tools to power tools, to see if hand tools are still relevant today, and in which ways they might actually be better than power tools. I've been collecting old hand tools for quite a few years now, and even though I have power tools as well, I often prefer to use my hand tools instead of my power tools. I'm going to compare hand tools to power tools in five different categories. Durability, safety, the skill that's required to use the tool, precision, and efficiency. I'm going to start off talking about durability. If you buy a cheap power tool, you pay about the same price as you pay for a good quality hand tool. The hand tool is going to last you most likely a lifetime or even several generations. While the power tool, it's probably going to break at some point. It has a lot of sensitive electronic components that can easily break. And unless you are really good at fixing electronics, it's pretty hard to fix them. While a hand tool is much more simple, it's mechanical. The only thing you have to do to maintain it is oil it once in a while. And if something breaks, you can either find a replacement part or you could even machine or make a new part that fits yourself because it's all pretty simple. I especially like buying old hand tools because usually back in the days, stuff was made better quality than nowadays. And also the tools that have survived for so many years are most likely good quality. So I think it's pretty clear that hand tools win in this case. When it comes to safety, power tools can be pretty dangerous. You have so much power at your disposal and if you make a wrong move, you can easily cut yourself or even lose a few fingers. Even if you don't cut yourself, there are still other dangers because power tools create a lot more dust and small particles that you can breathe in and even gases. And if you don't use the right safety equipment, you could get long term health effects from using power tools a lot. Of course, if you use good safety equipment, it's a lot better, but still, I don't trust it 100%. And it's also a big hassle to have to put on all this stuff every time you're trying to use a power tool. Power tools also make a lot of noise, which is not very pleasant to work with. And if I'm using all this safety equipment, I kind of feel like I'm, it's hard to see, it's hard to hear, it's hard to kind of work properly. I think one of the biggest reasons why power tools are so popular nowadays is that they're easy to use and they require less skill to use than hand tools. Usually hand tools require a lot more skill to use properly. But if you take the time to learn how to properly use a hand tool and you have a good quality hand tool, then you can use it to build stuff for the rest of your life without having to buy new power tools, without having to replace batteries, without having to plug in power cords. It's just nice and simple. So I guess power tools win this category because they're more easy to use. But then again, power tools are also much more dangerous to use. So if you don't have the skill to use them, you could actually really hurt yourself. How about precision? I think hand tools are generally more precise than power tools, simply because you have more control and lower speeds. If you're using a power drill, and go, it's pretty easy to use so much power that you either break a drill bit or you damage the piece you're working on. But with a hand drill, it's more precise because you can go as fast as you want and you have full control over what's happening. Of course, this is not true for every power tool because, for example, CNC cutters are very precise. But I think most power tools that most people use are relatively unprecise and it's pretty easy to damage the thing you're working on. So in this case, hand tools win. So while hand tools are more precise and more slow, that also means they're less efficient. Obviously, power tools are much faster to work with and much more efficient to use than hand tools. But I do think that if you get really good at using a hand tool, I don't think there's a big difference in how much time it takes to do the same work. Because I think if you use a hand tool with skill, it's pretty efficient as well. Of course, power tools do require some extra work, like having safety gear, uh, you have to plug them in or you have to charge the batteries. So it does take a little bit extra preparation time, while with a hand tool you can just grab it 
and start working. Another big benefit of using hand tools is that you can use them anywhere without needing any power or any batteries. So that's very convenient if you want to build something in the forest or in a place where there's no electricity. So in conclusion, which is better, hand tools or power tools? I think it really depends on how you use them. Because if you only occasionally need to build something or drill a hole in something, like most people do, you really don't need to own an electric drill. Because if you have a drill like this, this works so well, and I really think this can replace an electric drill quite easily. Of course, if building stuff is your job and you do it every day, then you can gain a lot of time by using power tools because they work much faster. So for professional builders, I think power tools are definitely necessary. But then again, if they learn the skill to use hand tools, I think some power tools can be replaced by hand tools and they wouldn't really require much more time to use. So I definitely think most people should only have hand tools in their house because you don't need to have an electric drill if you drill like three holes every year. Having a hand tool is just simple, it always works, it doesn't break, it doesn't need power, and it's just reliable and I love them. <laughs>